The life and times of late brother Etum Akban Nkanga, a.k.a. Udoma. 1949 to 2021 72 years preamble if we have been pleased with life we should not be displeased with death since it comes from the hands of the same master the days of our years is three score years and ten and if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow. For it is soon cut off, and we fly away. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Psalms 90 verse 10 and 12. Birth and parentage. Let's minister to was born in the year 1949 into the family of Let Mr. and Mrs. Akban Kangodonna of Nokan Nemesang family in quote unquote the local government area of Akwebon State. His mother was Let Mrs. Equal of Yakbaidium of Nokbaidium of Nkotuko. Let Mr. Tamkanga grew up under the tutelage of his parents before the passing on of his father. He was the fifth child and the second son of his parents. His parents, though not formally educated, had always known and believed that education is the foundation of every family and community. Udomma had his primary education at the Church of Scotland Mission School, now Presbyterian School in Quotenko. After his primary six, and later proceeded to Econo People's Comprehensive School, Nungukom, Econo Lugu Government Area. With his level of education, he was able to communicate fluently in both English and Epic languages. Occupation Udom Mafes had his working experience with National Oil Limited, Calabar, where he served for years. He was able to diversify his life when the National Oil folded up. Etenkanga spent two years at home after the company broke up. And as God may have his way, he was again employed to work with Alskan Nigeria, Ikadabasi, where he served as helper. In year 2000, he left Alskan and returned home where he continued with his farming career. Again, in year 2005, he got an appointment with the Akwaibom State Youth in Agriculture an offer he took seriously and discharged his duties efficiently and diligently. After years of working with the youth in agriculture, he got retired officially and established a pigry business, a business he held in high esteem which nicknamed him a Ted in quotes. It is worthy to note 
that with his level of education and business career, he was able to afford all his children to both to school, both secondary and tertiary institutions, and as a result of what you are seeing today. Marathon life. The ten camera as formerly called by Asushit was married to the love of his life, Miss Olena Matinatu, of blessed memory. Of the Tautan family, in Ibek Benitu, Ibenda, and it's in the local government area. The marriage was made beautiful with six adorable children, who are all alive to give him farewell. Though he lost his wife a few years ago, he was still up and strong till he called home by his mother. Social life. Itin Ganga, as fondly called, had an amicable character, self compassion good temperament and attitude. He was tolerant, caring, loving with good interpersonal relationships with people he met. Moreover, he was a good mixer, philanthropist, industrious, disciplinarian, and advisor to the society of his time. He, however, cherished being honest, accommodating, respectful, and loving at all. He left an indelible mark in the sands of time, a worthy legacies for us in future generations. In his political life, he saw politics as a source of instilling the rule of law, unity, and perfect organizational structure in the society. This gave him the impetus to involve himself in politics and was appointed as Ward Elder in Quotes 2, Ward 8. Since year 2001, he served diligently till his last days on earth. It is worthy to note that a thing Gang was the brain behind the PDP political structure of in Quotes 2, Ward 8, and this enabled him to win many elections conducted under his watch. Christian life. God created man in his image and likeness. Of course, man has the right to choose his religion. A thinker, while he was young, first worshipped with the Church of Kirkland Mission, Presbyterian Church. But things later fall apart in the early 50s when the late Akban Umoidion brought Church of Christ in Kuenko. He thanked Kang upon hearing the truth and undiluted words of Christ, converted to the Church of Christ, where he worshipped God with his family till his last days on earth. The Church, seeing his activeness and good character, appointed him as the Church Secretary, a position he held for decades, and a few years ago, he stepped down due to old age. It is important to note that the history of the new modern church worship hall will not be complete without its name and family being mentioned. Indeed, a tenkan was called to save Christ throughout his life on earth. Tempted and tried, we're oft made to wonder why it should be thus all the day long, while there are others living about us, never molested, though in the wrong, farther My brother, live in the sunshine. We'll understand it all by and by. Home crop. Upon returning from farm on Tuesday, April 20, he took ill and was rushed to the hospital on Wednesday. He was diagnosed and just administered to him. He felt a little good and returned him Sunday. But on Saturday, April 23, after conducting morning prayer with his children, 
He complained of heavy breathing and was rushed to Halo Specialist Clinic, Garibini, where he gave up the ghost. He only takes the best. God saw you getting tired, and a cure was not to be. So he put his arms around you and whispered, Come to me. The tearful eyes will watch you, and so you pass away. Although we love you dearly, we could not make you stay. A golden heart stopped beating, hard working hands to raise. God broke up hearts to prove to us. He only takes the best. Adieu, the Ten Karma. Thank you, thank you very much. You are the Savior with the spiritual touch. Praise you, praise your holy name. Since you touched my life, I've never been the same. Well, in my darkness, you are my light. Pain and confusion, you guide me alright. I sing sweet Jesus, you are the Christ. And in my blindness, you're such a beautiful sight. Appreciation. The children of late brother Etumakpan Kana expressed their profound gratitude to the Almighty God, who in his infinite mercy gave life to our Father and at the appointed time called him to be with him in glory. We also thank him for giving us the grace and ability to give our beloved departed Father a befitting farewell. Our sincere gratitude goes to the Church of Christ Nkunko, and other congregations of the Lord's Church. We appreciate the officiating ministers, elders, and deacons for their outstanding roles they played towards the successful funeral ceremony of our Father. We also appreciate Ministers' Wife Association, Church of Christ, Esatan Ikorik Bene, Church of Christ, Afar Bongi Tam E2, At My Gate Program, Uyo, and Christian Mission Family Mission Nigeria for their show of love towards the family before and during the funeral. We are grateful to Nekede Alumni, Obong University, Obong Tak, Building Material Association, Imtech Polytechnics, Bling Nigeria Limited, JCCF, Honorable Member representing House of Assembly, Akwaibum State, PDP Nkwo 2 Ward 8, and other political class for their roles towards the success of the funeral. We appreciate Church of Christ Media Professionals Nigeria, Ibum Kingdom Heritage TV, and other media personnel for their positive support during this moment of grief. We also appreciate My Voice a cappella, and other song leaders who have spiritually uplifted the family through songs. Our appreciation goes to Nkwonko Village and Nongekandamesang for their cooperation throughout the funeral arrangements. We won't fail to mention our in-laws, our father's friends and colleagues, who showed great concern towards the funeral arrangements and worked with us to give our father a grand farewell. To all the well wishes and sympathizers who come from far and near to pay their last respect to our father, our appreciation and gratitude are beyond words. Thank you all. May the good Lord bless you all and grant you joining mercies back to your various destinations. Amen. Engineer Prince, Nkana I Nkana, Chief Mona. Lonely are we, sighing for home, longing for thee, beautiful.
beautiful home of the ransom beside the crystal sea, the crystal sea.